As the world's economies continue to grow, food stalls will begin to offer more popular products like meat, milk, and eggs that will require massive amounts of grain for feed. It's beginning to happen in India, and we've already seen this become a reality in China, which now accounts for over a quarter of the world's consumption of meat. The big issue on the planet is not just the fact that we're going from 6.7 billion people today to 9.2 billion, that the population in total is increasing. The big problem on the planet is actually the number of Americans who are increasing. That is, the number of people living an American lifestyle, eating American-sized Big Macs, uh, living in American-sized houses, driving American-sized cars, um, on American-sized highways, uh, in American-sized malls. In some ways, it's a wonderful thing that so many more people in China and India, Russia and Brazil can live an American lifestyle. There's just one problem with all these carbon copies of Americans. If we, the original Americans, don't redefine in more sustainable terms what it means to be an American, we're gonna heat up, choke up, smoke up, and devour up uh, this earth. What we're talking about here is a train wreck where it's not clear how we can feed the world with a Western diet and also supply energy with Western demands and at the same time curb carbon dioxide. Something has to give in that picture. 